Are you ready, Amanda? Yeah, I'm ready. Well, quit moving. Look. Look. Oh, that's fast as I've seen you moving a long time. Ah! Look at this table full of, this is the headquarter table. Don't be showing notes that you don't need to be showing. Oh, people, you know what? People, they'll, they'll zoom in and try to take some pertinent information. Stop it. Get up here. Let's do a professional one. All right. I'm going to shut the door. I'm going to cut all that out. Well, but you're not. Yes, I am. This is what are we? Are you, I edit. You don't edit. Hey, ma'am. Well, hello, sir. Wow, you look a little bit different than you did five minutes ago. Get your, get your microphone over. No, no. I got it. I got it. There we go. You know what I just told Randy? I told him he is hateable. Hateable. Yes. You are hateable. I'm lovable. Okay. 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 All Everybody. right. Everybody. Welcome. Welcome to Incredible Tiny Homes. We want to talk about today, number one, how gorgeous it is outside. I can see the sun just now popping through. I can see the sun. It's beautiful morning. That is not the yeah. sun. <laughs> okay, well, that ain't the words, but well, all right. Anyway, thank you guys for, we have a big weekend. Big weekend. Massive. We I launched mean, our start engine. Yes. Well, selling shares of our company, and we have rated as their top 15 companies of all time to raise that much money yes. in that short period of time. 9 a.m. Thursday morning, last Thursday to today. Look at that. 9 a.m. this morning. Look at this. I'm going to look at it right now. It was, uh, what do you got? I'm this gonna, is. Right here, I'm going to look exactly how much it is right this moment. This is going to be. This is going to take 15 minutes. Oh, it's going to take. You, you, believe me, I think you can go ahead and talk while I look at I this. Don't this is the punchline. Oh, is it? <laughs> All right, I'm getting it right here. Go there. Right here, there's the link. I didn't look all weekend. I didn't. So, I didn't. I just like. So the link is going to be in the description, just like with the. Up. Hold on a second. Just like with the video of the other day, Randy doesn't like when I do this, and he doesn't think that he doesn't do it, but we both go. <laughs> Right, you want to tell it right now at twelve twenty one? Two hundred eighty five thousand dollars. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that is amazing. In the three days that we've had it, well, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, yeah, and then Monday, so four days, two hundred eighty five thousand dollars that we've generated. And they said we ranked as a top one of the top fifteen companies top 15. of their company's history. Yeah, exactly. And that is on that page. Whenever you click on the link and go to that page, it shows you all the information. We are going to put a link on this video, hopefully, so you guys can just boop right there and go to it. Hopefully. I don't know if we can do that. Or I'm going to try. That's, that's, I want to try and figure that out. Yeah. Yes. So we're excited. This, we are, we're going to do this every day to help everybody understand what we're doing. We are, we are selling shares of our company. I've been, I've thought about this. Believe it or not, because I don't know how you take the company public and all that stuff. Right. And I always thought, whoa. You know, when you lay in bed at night, you think about, boo, we can have franchise like McDonald's everywhere, and you got tiny homes going and all mm -hmm. this stuff. That was years ago. But to think that this company has offered a way of selling shares without going completely public. Right, exactly. So doing that has allowed us to generate this this money, right? Mm -hmm. And to be able to sell shares to you all that people so much have wanted a part of our growing company. Exactly. And that's the reason why we're doing it. You know, some people, uh, uh, there was a couple of people in the comments stuff like, oh my God, is this company in trouble? Is this company in financial ruin? That is not why you do that. We have no. different, we have different avenues now, uh, streams of income and ways to grow the company. And this is people who want to invest in the future, invest in affordable housing, believe in our company, and realize that honestly, we are the, the front runners of uh, tiny homes, of affordable housing yeah. in America. We yeah. really are. This is where I have, I've come in a business sense, mm -hmm. is that you, we have done everything without a loan, Without everything. any kind of financing from any institution, mm -hmm. any private investors or anything, we've come to this point. Yeah. For us to want to continually, steadily grow and be part of the future, continually, we, we're we looking at new land, facility, yeah. another facility, all this stuff, not in a unhaphazardly way of growing. Right. right. And to do that, to get to that, you know what, you can grow to a certain level and then to get to another certain level, it either going to take a lot of time hmm? or you need some sort of revenue. 
I would have rather, I rather right now would rather invest in individual people right. that you all have been following us for years mm -hmm. and believe in our product right. than go to an individual and say, hey, we're going to sell you 10, 20, 30% of our company. Mm -hmm. And now we have a partner that that works out all the time. Yeah. I thought this was great to have our subscribers and our fans and people believe in us as being our partners instead of having a partner. Because we have people that ask Randy and me and ask all of us really all the time, how can we how can we be a part of it? How can we help move this along? Because you yeah. would not believe. I know the people that, that are here definitely know about it, but the people uh, you know that uh, need this housing so desperately and yes. we're more and more places are opening up uh, the restrictions and everything for uh, tiny homes I mean we're 10 years deep mm -hmm. and it is you know leaps and bounds different from whenever it was in the beginning right but we're still having struggles and the more people that get on board the more people that support the more exposure that we can get out there about tiny homes and about right. affordable housing this is what's going to make it go Give the example of like now a house uh, that someone wants to buy. You know, one of the things that we were talking about is the economy. These, you know, a lot of these developers and stuff are forcing people into rental, not buying. Right. Rental because they make a ton of money. Right. They make a ton of money for that. So they're already people are renting these houses or these apartments nine, 1200, 1500, even more higher than that. And you're not even owning the home. Right. That's just, unheard. it's just awful. It seems like we're being pushed into a market Push. of renting, a, a society of renting. Exactly. There's apartments going up constantly. Mm -hmm. You guys probably see it in all your homes, yes. your hometowns across the country. Yep. Um, Amanda had a great saying, quit buying, start, I mean, quit renting, start buying. Yeah, start and buying. And we want to provide that. And mm -hmm. to do that, to to get us into that level is is why we want to share our company yep. to, to generate that revenue to work with our partners that can be, be doing that yeah and get to this get to where we want to take this you know i i don't want to i've got a lot of ideas and a lot of dreams and things mm -hmm. we have actually put a great a great team together we have got a, an amazing accounting team a software mm -hmm. team with our inventory that we have put together professionally changed from, everything. From, an, from out of the state. We have recruited them from out of state, from really professional teams that have come mm -hmm. together. This business has been flopped, turned upside down yes. before we even brought this to the world. And we're excited because we have a team now that is we can grow exponentially without putting a stress level mm -hmm. on the main components of this business. Right. So a lot of times people get growing in a company and it stresses us out, stresses the owners, the mm -hmm. employees, and all that. We have the ability on this line right here to go to up to five homes per day mm -hmm. without putting any more work on these guys. Right. It's because we're taking the line and dissecting it and bringing people in to help us understand the assembly line. Yeah. That's the same thing we did with our, our inventory system, mm -hmm. our accounting system. Right. And then we're also going to be able to duplicate this factory at another location in the United States just completely know exactly the cost of materials, labor, right. everything, so we can duplicate it. That's how you grow. Right. A lot of this came on from knowing how we can grow with an example. If Lowe's comes on, will Lowe's right. is on, we're, mm -hmm. we're working that out in right. the details. Um, people are concerned. Hey, mm -hmm. if you take on Lowe's, how is that going to affect quality? How is that going to affect timing? How is that? How is? Are you guys going to be overwhelmed? Mm -hmm. Are are we not going to have the customer service? Do you know Lowe's requires all that to a to a nth degree? Right. They will not do anything with us unless we can provide the customer right. service. We can provide the maintenance and warranty mm -hmm. and the marketing and to be able. To they have all grow. that set up that, to help because that's something we're that would be an access. We're working with them. It's an access that we get to have that privilege to yeah. do that. You They're know? actually going to help with the warranty and the maintenance right. and, and all that stuff. So, and that shows too for Lowe's to want to be a part. You know, have us come on as one of the vendors. I guess mm -hmm. is what we would be called. Um, it's a really big deal. I mean, Lowe's is such a national, you know, nation, you know, of the, um, on the planet of Earth, you know, of, of the Earth. Lowe's, everybody knows yeah. Lowe's, right? Yeah. But it's just another uh, type of exposure. It's a compliment, it's a compliment uh, but it's, it just shows that, you know, that they recognize the quality, they yeah. recognize the hard work, they're recognizing what we can do, and we want to put it out there. Gives another, 
you know, we're not just one peg thing. So we have the assembly line, which is the factory. We have the model homes, which, you know, that are Amish built. And we also still have some custom homes that we do. So we're not in a box of, you know, and we also have communities. Mm -hmm. So we're a company who is, is, diversified. is diversified. That's yeah. the word I was trying to look for. Right. And the, one of the reasons why we did this start engine, this is exposure that also it helps people to want to invest or they've got money that they don't know what to do with, where to put it, where to, you know, to invest with. It's something that they believe in, but it's also going to expose us. Start engine has a database of people and investors that we're talking that have millions, make billions of dollars that may want to invest in the company as well. And so that exposes us to other people who gets to talking about affordable housing, that gets to talking about with people who can make things really happen. It's just another avenue. That's all it is. It's not our everything, but it's just another thing that we've added on to include everybody and to have, you know, people to come in and to help push this movement. It is a movement. So if we don't, if we don't become more efficient in right. what we do and how we do things, then what's going to happen is the cost of goods, our cost yes. of our homes are going to go exponentially go up. up. And we don't want that. And no. so with this investment from you all mm -hmm. to help us um, maintain what we do, to grow better, to acquire better tools, better, uh, in, in a less of a word, like robotics, CNC mm -hmm. machines, different things that will actually help production. Yeah. We can't get to that next level. You know? Right. It's like if you want to be a... A great um, um, player in sports, right? Mm -hmm. You need a coach. You need a better coach. You need better training. You need better better nutrition. equipment. I'm going to be okay. I'm going to yeah. be mediocre. But man, when I when I walk up to a job site or I walk up to a competition and they've got everything better, I can't compete with them. Well, yeah, and we want a bigger audience too. So yeah. we, you know, everyone has been wonderful up to this point. Our YouTube, you guys our YouTube. are our audience. That's it's our we audience. Have. We don't have a national platform. No. You know, no, and we want that national platform. We go out, I go outside of Newport and I go down, and nobody mm -hmm. knows who we are. No. We go into town, mm -hmm. nobody knows who we are, right? Exactly. And so, and we've done amazingly with the platform we've had. It's a yeah, it's a, it is amazing. Honestly. We got to get out more, and we can't thank you guys enough for mm -hmm. participating in the 300, you know, the well, the I over, saying, over 200 investors, yeah, 200 has, investors. Created, has generated over since Thursday at 9 a.m. $285,000. To say that's incredible yeah. is just an understatement. Yeah. That's, that's, that's such just a compliment. Unbelievable. You know? So at $5.18 a share, mm -hmm. you all can own a part of our company. It's a minimum bid yep. of $500. Mm -hmm. You can go in the description below yep. and you can go to Start Engine. I'm not going to say it because it's a little bit we'll long. Put the link. So you guys can go to that link and go onto there yep. and find it. Of course, StartEngine.com is a company that we're working with. It's actually the guy off Shark Tank. It is, you yeah. Know, I, O'Leary, I think. Yeah, it's O'Leary. He started yeah. this company to help small businesses generate income to get, so you don't have to take on maybe personal investors, right. or you don't have to take on banks and. And this credit. possibly may be the only time that we ever offer this. We it don't know. Be, how this we is don't know. Go, we how do it's not know. Work, yeah, uh, but. We're excited about it's excited. it. We have employees who've invested. They're all excited and stuff. We've had uh, people in our family and some like, people that have invested and stuff yeah. like that. And it is. There's so many guys coming. They say, hey, yeah. we invested in the company. They're super you know? excited. It's something to be excited about because it's something that we believe in and the people around us believe in it. And affordable housing, people need it. America needs it. And then yeah. it needs to even go even beyond that. So we're trying to do that. We're already the number one. Um, tiny home community in America and no one's going to be able to touch us. We're getting ready to open up 285 watts and we're going to keep going on the mountain. Yeah. So, I mean, I can't believe that, you know, that we would ever be touched with that. Yeah. Well, the, the mountain's been, been, uh, uh, zoned at, not zoned, but grandfathered in at over 800 home sites mm -hmm. on the mountain. If, if we choose to do that, yeah. we're actually like four other properties that we've already pursuing mm -hmm. two, three of them we've acquired. Yep. And one, we're in a partnership, a very, very good partnership that we're excited about. And we're gonna bring all this to you. That's how much push and energy and stuff is behind us. Uh, we're coming out 
with our, you know, our credit box, our edit box, our cottages, mm -hmm. and what we have, and how we're going to offer that to you here in the in the, in the weeks coming. Yeah, you mm -hmm. got some ideas, and we really want to show the world what we have and yeah. how we're going to keep our affordable prices low. So um, yeah, and too, you know, and there's more people. I mean, we're not going to name drop or anything like that, but there are more people like officials and politicians and stuff like that that have the same mindset and really do believe in this affordable housing. Yeah. So that's going to come on later too. Um, of how they have power they are supporting and how and trying to push this there are people who there are workers that we are found out that need housing affordable housing mm -hmm. so you know a lot of people come into areas and stuff like tourist towns and things like that there's nowhere for these people to live affordably right. at all so there's all kinds of avenues you know that we're looking into and in trying to help the economy help the people and everybody to so we can all work together but it has to be you have to be able to afford to where you live yeah there's just no way around it okay. not 900 1200 1500 a month and stuff and it's not the job what people are getting paid is not matching what the rent is so right. we've got to right. level it out guys we need a fair and playing we're the only field doing it, we're the only, the only ones one doing it with that aspiration because yeah. you know most of your big track home builders throughout the country yes they're shooting for that nine that three to four five hundred hundred thousand dollar home yes their profit margins in that are astronomical. Yeah. They're between 100 and 150 plus profit in developing those types of homes of 300 to $500,000. Right. The cost of land, the cost of labor, the cost of materials have not increased that much mm -hmm. from just a couple of years ago. They right. haven't. Look at our prices. We are the same as what we were a few years ago. Yeah. So I wanted to explain that people would say, hey, you know, why are you doing this? Why don't you just stay where you're at in the course? And I understand mm -hmm. that, you know, people who, who are not in our business or don't have the dreams and the aspirations that we try to do here. Right. We're, you know, when, when you're in business for yourself and it, it's this level, it takes on a whole different, uh, a whole different personality of its own. And it also takes a different person to actually do this. You know, yes. for us to be able to do this, to have the energy to do it, to have the drive to do it, to have the want to do it, right. and have the perseverance that we've proven over the years to mm -hmm. do this constantly, um, we're not just, we're not wired normal, you know? <laughs> it's, it's, if you've ever said a true statement, that yeah. is it right there. We are not normal. And I wanted to tell you that because, if you know, you go to your job and you got to kind of like, you know, you got kids and working and you're nine to five and that's wonderful. It's like... A bright, beautiful life. Yeah. But for some reason, we've chosen not to go that route, you know? And that's how mm -hmm. people in business do. They yeah. sacrifice so much of their personal lives. And we have. To grow a business. Yes. And we've chosen to do that. I have sacrificed, you've sacrificed yes, a we ton have. of our personal life. We have. And, it, you, and it came to us, and you know, we talked about the video the other day. It's like, it's something that fell into our lap. It's something that I heard about, I told him about, and it was a chain reaction from there yeah. to there to there. Choices were made along the way. Do we just stay in the backyard or do we go over to Inca? We went to Inca. We do we come to Newport? We stay at Inca. We come to Newport. We buy the land in Newport. We bought the land. Do we buy the mountain? We made the decision. We bought the mountain. Chain reaction, chain reaction. Do we want to keep selling houses? Where am I going to put it? So we get into land developing. So it was just a chain reaction to cho to choices you make. So it's very serious the consequences, good and bad, of whenever you make a decision. So you have to say, all right, and then we had to make a decision. We're in it. We're in it. We're in it. The sacrifice, if we have to sacrifice whatever we have to sacrifice, we have to do it. And that's yes. our mindset. Yes. Perfectly well, said. Well, it is. Perfectly said. Perfectly said. And what? Now, <laughs> this is it. This is it. You guys have watched this. This, this is for you all, the people that yep. believe in our company, mm -hmm. the people that believe in who we are as people, yep. as a business. So and we, what have, done. we have co owners. Yeah. Yeah, co-owners. Yeah, and it's people that really have supported us through the years. That really care. Yeah. Yep, exactly. So, all right. All Thank right. you guys. And that's go to the description below. Click on that. Go to startengine.com. Look into that. But we will have information on the description. Yeah, it, it's, it's, the the link. Link. it's the link that will be in the description. In the description of this video, the link will be in there. I'm going to try to put it on the on the actual screen. video on like, the screen like Randy wants. But we'll see what I can do. What magic I like, can perform. Click now, right up. You know how many people invest in now? In invest now. No, go here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but uh, click the link in the description, 
and um, invest with us today. Yeah, I yeah. wish we could have done a two minute video, but we gotta talk all the time. Yeah, exactly. You have to talk. So, all right. Thank you guys. Bye. Bye. You gonna turn it off? We don't have a remote. I was just gonna like um, say, okay, goodbye. Good, goodbye. And we just stay Goodbye. Here. Just, hush. Hush! And then you can edit and I'll go turn it off, see? <laughs> oh, is that how it works? Yeah, you gotta have a pause.